Welcome back, everyone, to Halloween Haunts 365. I'm Jared. And I'm Terry. And you look green for some reason today. I do. Look at my eye. I know. Terry's had a coughing <laughs> fit, so... Uh... I broke a blood vessel in my eye. Yep. <laughs> but uh, we headed out to the... Because uh... I needed that right fucking now. Headed out to the Bates Motel. Yes, we did. On uh, our territories. On the territories. Last stop of the territories. So this was our fifth stop of territories and tenth stop for us. Yes. This review was September 29th, 2024. But before we get into Bates Motel, we're from our sponsors. This video is brought to you by Party Pumper DJs. Elevate your special events with Party Pumper DJs. The Party Pumper serves the Northeast Tri-State area. From weddings to birthday parties, corporate events to backyard barbecues, Party Pumper DJs will help take your event to the next level. Experience 4K visuals, JBL sound, intelligent lighting, and mayhem all season long with DJ See No Evil pumping the party in the six feet under midway at Lehigh Valley Screen Park. Lehigh Valley Screen Park is located just outside of Allentown in Orfield, Pennsylvania. It consists of 400 attractions along with a huge nightly party in the two acre, six feet under Midway. Check out and connect with Party Pumper DJs on Facebook and nightly at Lehigh Valley Screen Park. Party Pumper DJs is a proud sponsor of the Halloween Haunts 365 2024 season. So make sure you go follow Party Pumper DJs on Facebook right now. All right. Also, don't forget about the fan voted haunt of the year. Voting still going. How are the votes going? I have no. I have no idea. idea. No idea. All right. A lot of good responses out of that. So vote for your favorite haunt of the year. You just go to HalloweenHaunts365.com. Go to Fan Vote Haunt of the Year, click it, and enter a haunt. No email, no nothing, no nonsense. Nice and easy. Yes. All right. <laughs> Are you, what? There's a cat in here. <laughs> All right. Bates Motel. <laughs> it's going to be a tough one, guys. It is. So, but uh, we're honest. So hang in there. Uh, we got a scoring video. I mean, a walkthrough for this, don't I? We do. Let's play a walkthrough because it does look pretty. I keep my eyes shut. For a moment in this life, I see all this pain and sense. Still, I am proud to keep all my dreams because they're shining for me. But when I wake up, the work feels great to me. And at the same place, I don't really want to be feeling all alone. All right, so that's the Bates Motel. A couple things to do there. But uh, the first thing we did was we hopped on the hayride. Yes, we did. Let's play that scoring video and then get into it. Oh, 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 
All right. So if you've never been to the Bates Motel and Haunted Hayride, Hayride, some larger than life scenes. Yes. So actors, we went to five. They were into it. They were uh, jumping out of nowhere, always hitting the cart. So you felt them there. Their Duration, costumes look great. Where we have a whole I know, category. But I'm just saying, get to that? I know. I'm How many of these do we have to do? Actors looked amazing. They did. Actors did a good job on the hayride. Uh, duration. It's 20 minutes long. So it's five. Fear factor. Oh, we got to bring up the Terry Screen. We don't need it. I did not scream you at didn't all. Jump. I you didn't, didn't jump. move nowhere. It was kind of boring i'm not used to not doing that but we'll get into it uh lighting of five it's beautifully lit hayride making the costumes like she said already yes they they looked really good immersion of four you're taking out of some scenes by the audio really intensity i'm down to a three i mean the actors coming out of nowhere and hitting the hayride that was kind of cool um scenes of five uh, beautiful sets they changed a couple scenes and i like the couple of the scenes uh sound the music of three i think they need louder and different music especially in certain scenes special effects of five there are some large animatronics at the bates motel yes there is attraction overall 4.3 third favorite scene mine's the waterfall <clears throat> bruce was the asylum and mine and, was the cemetery church yep Second favorite scene. Mm -hmm. Mine was the western scene. Bruce was the cemetery, cemetery church, church. And Terry's was the coal mine. That was pretty cool. First favorite scene. Mine's the cemetery. Always been the cemetery. I like the little scene. I never get tired of the gag out of the church. Uh, Bruce's was slaughterhouse. And Terry was western town. Alright. So, fun hayride? Yeah. I would go back on the hayride again. Yeah, I would too. Let's go deeper. The Bates Motel attraction. One of the reasons we started this website eons ago. All right. And it won't be the last. And we go dramatic life says written in my past. Cause I If you told me 10 years ago that's what that would turn into I wouldn't have believed it. I would have laughed at you. But uh all right, you know what? It is what it is. We saw what we saw. Let's get into it. Actors of 3. They don't bother hiding. They don't bother using the drop panels. They don't bother trying to scare you. They kind of just wander around the room. Yeah, I did notice at one point there was somebody in like a cloak and he was standing there waiting for people to come and you saw him and then he disappeared and he was just standing there. Yeah. Like I knew he was going to be there. And this wasn't all the actors and I'm no. not blaming the actors for this. No. Um, Cause some of them had great skit lines and performed properly. Correct. Others were just touching stuff in the room. I, I don't understand. Mm -hmm. Duration. It's eight minutes. And um, three. Three. Middle of the road. All right. So this is no fear factor of one. I didn't hear a single scream in this entire attraction. No, not I didn't hear anyone jump. Fun. I didn't see anyone jump. And we were sent through as a conga line 
with really no one there that night. So I had plenty of people to gauge. No one moved. No yeah. one jumped back. No one screamed. Nothing happened. It's a one. Nothing in front of us or behind us. Yep. Lighting a four. Some beautifully set rooms. Uh, beautifully light rooms. Um... I like the way they lit the graveyard in that mausoleum. Yeah. That was beautiful. That was pretty. Makeup and costumes, everyone looked great. Immersion a two. It's just, there's no sound. There's no spooky backdrop. There's It takes you out of all of it. Intensity, again, a one. Nothing. Nothing. Not even a drop panel. Not even an attempt at a drop panel. And they're all over. I even waited in front of them. Nothing. This, this, there's silence throughout the park. We stood out there for an hour and a half after. Yes, we did. Scenes, a four. There's some really cool scenes in here. Sound of music again. It's, it's dead air. Special effects, three. A lot of animatronics, but a lot of them didn't work. And a lot of them were mistimed. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if it, I thought maybe because of the missed time, because we were in a Congo line. Well, then it should activate while we're in it. Right. It's because it's going to read the first person. person so it's the, it should constantly yeah. go. All right. So Bates Motel attraction got a 2.8. Third favorite scene. Uh, me and Terry, the funeral room. Bruce was the deer head room, which was a really cool that scene. Cool. Uh, second favorite scene, me and Terry, the courtyard. It's the ending. And the first favorite scene was the all skin room. That was different. It's like Ed Gein on crack. Mm -hmm. Honestly, if they sold individual tickets, I would buy it just to see that skin room again. Yeah. It was different. Yeah, it was very different. All right. I'd love to say the trip got better here, but uh, let's do it. Revenge of the Scarecrows. Revenge of the Scarecrows. My eye does look creepy for Halloween. It does. <laughs> Too bad you're missing Reapers. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Boys night out in the mountain. Let's do it. All right. So Revenge of the Scarecrows. Actors are two. Actors are two. <laughs> and that's not every actor. No. Um, a lot of just walking around mindlessly, not trying to hide. And someone said boo. Right. <laughs> I'm sorry. Right on you. Like, got up near your ear and went, boo. Boo. <laughs> boo. What? <laughs> I still can't believe that happened. Duration, it's 11 minutes. It's a three in the middle of the road. Fear factor, again, a one. Now, if anyone did scream in this attraction, you could easily hear it because it's a corn trail. Right. Nothing. Nothing. Not Nothing. even a jump. Not even, ah! Nothing. We weren't for the first group in or the last group out. We were in a straight up conga line. So, uh, lighting at three. Some are well lit. Some can use some lighting. You can use lighting to actually maybe scare people. Makeup and costumes a four. Everyone looked really good. Some of the masks were really cool. Immersion again at two. You're just taken out of it because like no one's hiding. No one's trying to scare you. 
Intensity of one. I'm not going to lie. This was a boring walkthrough. It was. With the beautiful clown set that I would just... If I could just go into that, I'm good. Uh, scenes, a three. Some really good ones. Some really... I don't know ones. Sound of music, just deafening silence. Really. Yeah. Which made it more boring. Special effects, too. Again, a haunt filled with animatronics, but even the cool pig one didn't work. Oh, yeah. I forgot about like, that. Like, I always liked that one. Yeah. But nothing. Yep. I forgot about that one. I, I, I don't... And that shit happens. That's not a big deal. But the overall, not even attempting to scare people... All right, so we're going to do this reverse because we're going to do the first favorite scene, the second favorite scene, and the third favorite scene. And I'm not being a dick. Mm -hmm. First Sorry, favorite the, scene. The attraction overall was 2.3. 2.3, sorry. First favorite scene. We all like the crypt with the flying guy. That was cool. Cool gag. That was in the motel. Was it? I don't remember. Uh, see, I don't remember. <laughs> it didn't leave a good impression. <laughs> no. Uh, second favorite scene, the clown room. Great scene. It it brings it and then different clown ideas in the play. And like that shoe room is so fucking creepy. Yes. Uh, third favorite scene, Bruce and Terry's was the schoolhouse, which was well done. And mine was the exit. I know, it's just so funny to hear that. I, I was done. You know, I know, like... I know. We won't be going back. For a while. For a while. Yeah, it just... It's not something you want to go see every year. But it used to be. I know. Well, Tar Behind the Walls used to be good, too. Well, they're, they're idiots. They changed their whole damn thing. Um, all right, but there are sh other sh cool shit to do with Bates Mattel. Yeah, there's coffin rides, axe throwing. Let's do the final video arms. score. Did anybody say why the Bates Motel sign wasn't lit? It did fire up once. Oh, it did. I missed it. Once. Oh, dang. It used to be every 10 minutes, but now it was once. Because we were out in that midway for about an hour and a half. Yeah, about that. Yeah. Um, thriller music still plays. I still think it's off because, like, I remember that playing a hell of a lot more. Because then all the lights would flash on the... On the house. Yeah. All right. So activities, coffin ride, axe throwing, escape room, food. Nowhere to sit down, though. No. Didn't they have that before? I don't remember. I don't remember. I didn't care, because... Right. <laughs> activities because of four. They used to have the dancers out there, too. Well, that's part of atmosphere. Yeah. So, it was a rainy night, so we can only go by what we saw. They might still be out there. We don't know. Uh, entertainment at two. Thriller. It played once in a while, though. The rest was just dead air. And, uh, that's it. Uh, food score, hot dogs, fries, hamburgers, your, your common food, and donuts and apple cider. The cider was good. I enjoyed the cider. It was okay. <laughs> uh, Haunted Attraction was a three I point. It. I like Johnson's better. <laughs> Oh, we're not going to Johnson's. I know. They don't have a haunt. I know, but they still have good cider donuts and apple cider. Yes. Maybe we can hit Johnson's on the way to something. That would be delightful. 
All right, so Haunted Attraction overall scores a 3.13, giving Bates Motel a 3.13. My final thoughts, is it a fun haunt? If you've never been to Bates, you're still going to have a good time. Yes, because I knew a few people that never been there before, and they said they had fun. Yeah. They enjoyed themselves. The Bates Motel is still the Bates Motel. It's right. It's still a legendary haunt. It's still fun. I just wish everyone could have saw it 10 years ago. That's it. I said that piece. I'm not going to shit on the Bates Motel. No, I mean, no. It's still, it's just it's still fun, you know? Like, it's we still, still fun. I didn't walk around like. No. You know, it's just. It's different. All right, it's but I'm going to say we're something. We're used here. to us. What we're, it's not what we're used to anymore. So I get asked this question probably 15, 20, 30, 40 times a day. Can I bring my kids there? You can bring them to the Bates Motel. Yeah, there was a lot of young kids there. No, no, no. I'm talking about. I know, zero, but in just general. The zero scare factor in here. Your kids will be fine at the Bates Motel. I'll put Halloween 136. I said I would never answer it, but that's one they could do. Yeah. yeah. Hey, but you know, you got to master throughput. You got to get people in and out. They're heading towards their busy season. So check them out if you've never been. Um, our tour loved it. They had a really good time. Yeah, they did. Bruce liked it. Bruce liked it. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I, I'm not here to shit on haunts. That's what we saw out of the Bates Motel. Has this scored five blood splats for us before? Yeah. This used to be an intense, fun thrill ride all the way through. And some things did still still some get the things, five. Yeah. No, yeah. It's beautifully designed. It's beautifully set. The makeup and costumes are amazing. Some of the scenes are still beautiful, but the intensity has dissipated. But shit happens. And we got more haunts to go. Where are we going next? I'm not going. You're going. Oh, yeah. Bye. Uh, we are, I'm going to pack up this camera when we're done recording, and we are heading to Reaper's Revenge. We will be there Friday night. If you see us in the midway after, feel free to come say hi. Saturday, checking out Harris Nightmare, a new haunt in uh, down in Maryland. Then Sunday, we got a two-piece. Hopefully. We are heading to the pretty much all-new Valley of Fear. And uh, if we could squeeze it in, Bloodshed Farms drive through. Yep. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. We'll be at 14 by the first week of October. Hopefully the rain's done. Shut up! <laughs> Why do you gotta say that? <laughs> All right, we're hanging up now before she jinxes the entire fucking season. But, uh, God, Territories, huge shout out to Territories. Oh they gosh. pulled it off. Um, I don't know how he did it with we well, we were thirty people. Yeah, he kept us all in check. Hey, nobody was late for the bus. He didn't have to go wrangling people. Nope. I thought for sure he'd have to come get me, but that didn't happen. I was very behaved. But uh, guys, check out Bates Motel. You can find tickets on their website. Usually, find some good deals, especially later in the season. They're open like all week, so check that out. It's it's definitely better to go during the week. Less crowds. Because that, that line for the hayride gets immense. But again, Bates is one of those where if you didn't buy tickets prior, you could take a look at the line. That's like, true. Yeah, I'm not waiting in that. <laughs> yeah, the line was half full when our tour bus pulled up and they were all in shock at how many people were there. I'm like, that's nothing. Yeah. <laughs> you say we can still park in the parking lot? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they've have, we've been there before that we were in the other parking lot. Other parking lot, and that line was four times longer. Yeah. All right, guys, but we're going to wrap this up. Still had fun. Because it's a haunt. I'm still going to have fun. And I don't fully shit on haunts. That's just what I saw what happened. But, uh, yeah, next up will be Reapers. But until next time, we are Halloween Haunts 365, where every day is haunt season. We will see you out there. Bye. Go Phillies. <laughs>